Hey, how's it going, Clifton? Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I made for you. Um, I made this video to give you a good understanding of where you are online and can prospects in your area find you when they need an engineer or a construction company, okay, for whatever project, commercial or residential project they may have, all right? Um, everything that we do here at AMP Local is truly done to drive uh, to drive prospects to your website to spend money with you and to incre increase your revenue. That's where all, what we're all about is increasing sales. Okay. Um, so as we can see, as you can see, we're on uh, my business website. My company's Amp Local. Uh, we're an internet internet marketing company. Um, we're based here out of San Diego, but we do business um, obviously all over the country, especially in California. Um, we offer, uh, you know, SEO services, web design, and AdWords management, lead generation. I don't want to get into all that right now. Um, please view our website to learn more information. I want to jump straight into um, the analysis that I did for you, okay? So, as you can see, we're on your website, all right? So, 82% of the population are on Google when they need a product or service, whether it be construction, like looking for you, whether if they need their carpet cleaned, if they want to buy a new car, um, if they want to rent a limousine for a wedding, all right. Uh, if they want to find the the local bar or or, uh, or nice restaurant, you know, to go out, um, they're going to use Google. Google is the most popular way to extract information from the internet. Um, so to find you, they would naturally go to Google and they would have to type in something like construction company in San Francisco, all right, or general contractor San Francisco or or uh, engineer engineering in uh, San Francisco, okay? And maybe they might not type San Francisco, but if they live in San Francisco or the San Jose area, Google is very smart and knows their location. So as soon as they hit the keyword, type it in, construction company, boom, are you gonna be at the top of the searches? Okay, so let's find out. So for two of the major keywords uh, for your company where your competitors drive tons and tons of traffic to their website and uh, you know thousands of valuable leads pop on click on the website because they're at the top of your searches, construction company in San Francisco, okay? Or if the prospect lived there, it would, it would be construction company, all right? Um, to be quite honest, um, I didn't find Empire on the first 10 pages, okay? For construction company and for engineering company, all right? Um, neither did I find it for general contractor. So you have a website, but it's, kind of, it's really in obscurity right now. Um, so some of your top competitors are, before I get into that, you, you may know, you know, this is your Google Maps, okay, and this is your organic rankings, okay. Some of your top competitors, Turner Construction, um, you might have heard of them. Another one is uh, Planet Construction, okay. This is for construction and for engineering, um, some of the big players uh, for engineering is uh, agesinic.com, all right, that's one of them. So these guys are taking all the market uh, away from you, all the clicks. You're not popping up at the top of these searches and they're getting all the uh, all the clicks for their website, okay? Um, let me show you how many times a month someone in San Francisco types hits construction company. About 10,000 times, okay? So this time last year, let's just say April or March, all right? 9,300 searches in San Francisco and San Jose. You know, this, this, this is built out for San Jose and San Francisco construction company, okay? Let's just about 8,000 times a month average. How much of that pie are you taking? That's what it boils down to, okay? Um, and your competitors are, are taking all that all that market. So um, this is where you are right now. This is how many sites your website gets per month. It's one click, one SEO click per month average, okay? Now, that's very low. Obviously, we want to get you higher, okay? So this is what you look like um, in one year. So very this is the organic keywords this is the clicks okay so about one click per month all right so here is one of your top competitors for engineering okay agcsf.com okay they're getting 240 clicks per month what could you do with 240 clicks that's a lot of business okay that's a lot of potential business um per month all right here's another one this is a t one of the top construction companies in california um you know and turn to construction, they're getting 26,000 clicks to their website per month. And I guarantee you, this guy, these guys are killing it. They're pulling in so much business. All right. So, yeah, 26,000 per month. All right. So, you can see 
how much um, how much uh, potential there is for your company. Here's another one. Agescynic.com, 317 clicks. All right, this is another one for engineering. All right, so huge potential, huge, huge potential. All right, all right. So we're, our job here is to get you as much of that pie as we possibly can, get you at the top of the searches. All right, to get you, people clicking on more on your website, more than just once per month from SEO clicks. Right now, um, business may be good, and not, I'm not here to downgrade anything that you've done. Obviously, you've built a very successful business. Um, it supported you and, and your family. But this is all about expansion and growth. That's what I'm bringing to the table, increasing your revenue. Okay, if you're making one mil a year, we want to make ten mil a year. All right, that's that's what I'm that's what I'm uh, bringing to the table here for you. That's the formula that I'm showing you right here in front of me. Okay, want to get you at the top of these searches. One well, number one in maps, and number one, definitely in the top three of these right here of the map and the organics. Okay, that's where all the clicks come from. Let me show you this chart real quick. Um, if you're ranked number one, all right, you get about 35%. You corner about 35% of the market for that search. You rank number 10, barely getting 3%. Okay, huge, huge difference. Okay, we definitely want to get you up there in the top three. And this is just a couple keywords. You know, there's like tons of keywords. You know, we, we, we actually um, rank out the five to ten of the top most uh, keyword searches and most of the business will come from just two to five keywords um, so that's why I chose those two so that gives you an idea of how much of the market you can corner I mean you can corner 70 percent if you're a top of maps and inorganic so it's a huge potential let me show you how we're gonna get there okay a lot of information um, first I want to talk to you about the authoritative content of your website okay so let's go back to your website so what Google wants to see, it wants to see at least a thousand words on the home page of all about relevant material that has to do with construction companies or um, engineering companies, general contractors here in uh, San Francisco or San Jose. So you want to be mentioning these keywords multiple times across the page. Okay. Um, so it looks like you have maybe roughly four to five hundred words. So we definitely want to double the content on the page, add in more relevant material. Okay. Definitely very, very important. Um, the way your website's named, um, you know, your description of the website, the, uh, uh, the description of the page, okay, all that has to be relevant um, to the topic. Let me show you what authoritative content looks like. I went to Google, typed in elephant. Look, it's number one elephant, okay, for w Wikipedia, okay. I'm going to click on that. Why am I doing this? Let me show you. Look at this authoritative content. Endless information, 50,000 plus words that has to do with elephants, okay. Their evolution, what they eat, where they come from, their habitat, everything. Okay, this is excessive. I just want to give you an idea. We definitely want to have at least a thousand words, okay, on the home page. That's what uh, authoritative content is, and that's what keyword research is, okay, having those keywords um, relevant to the topic, okay. Next, I'm going to talk to you about backlinks, okay. These are very important. I'm sorry, uh, we're going to talk to you about business listings. We also call these citations. All right, so this is how we get our name and our business and our product out on the internet, okay? Some examples are Google, Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, Yellow Pages, White Pages, and Yelp, okay? This is a list of the top 50 in the country, okay? Um, and you have a 100% error rate with these listings, okay? Let me tell you why. The business name, address, phone number have to be identical on all of these. If not, Google's going to penalize you. And the biggest thing that's penalized you as far as this goes is you're not Google verified. So here's Google right here, and you're missing the listing completely. So you're not going to pop up in the maps at all. So um, this will be the one of the very first things that we'll do for you is get you Google verified. So you're a, show Google that you're a local business in San Francisco, serving San Francisco and San Jose, okay? Very, very, very important. Um, and it looks like Yahoo, uh, Bing, you have different phone numbers white pages, different phone numbers, um, and then you're missing listing. This is like another big problem. You're not here, um, and prospects can't find you in these listings, and plus Google's not taking you serious, like I already kind of said. So this is the top 50 in the country. There's thousands. Over time, we want to get you listed in hundreds and hundreds of them, right? Um, third thing I want to talk to you about, backlinks, okay? These are very important. We also call these influence pages, all right? So say you have a client thoroughly impressed with the construction, which I'm sure happens all the time. I'm sure you'll provide a phenomenal service. Um, say they have a blog or write articles or a website. What happens is they'll actually post an article 
on their website about your business. So anyone reading that article can click on the link to your website and go directly to your website. Now you have a new prospect, someone that wants to spend money. Uh, but most importantly, Google takes this as a vote, okay? Google is a popularity contest. It's like running for president. All right, so whoever gets the most votes wins. These are your votes, okay? So let me explain these numbers to you. Um, this number right here, referring domains and backlinks. So this is saying that there's three websites on the internet right now mentioning you eight times, okay? That's what that's saying. Um, and this trust flow of two is the quality of these domains, okay? So let me show you this chart. This is a chart of the quality of those domains. So if you have a two, which you're about right here, okay? You're actually not even meeting low quality. Um, if you if you were a 15, you meet uh, medium quality. 20 is high quality. Okay. What's great about us is we have unlimited amounts of high quality domains to link to. Very very powerful domains that's going to get you ranked um, in the top three of Google for organic searches. Okay. All of ours are 25 plus, so they're actually off the charts. Um, so huge potential for you with this, knowing this formula, this is not something that, you know, SEO or internet marketed companies are really going to share with you. This is behind the scenes, technical knowledge that really gets you the juice you need to get real results and really increase your revenue. Like I said, that's what it's all about. Um, so that's backlinks. Okay. Very powerful stuff. The last thing I want to talk to you about is being mobile friendly. 60 to 80% of the population, when they're looking for something on the internet, they're actually going to use their phone or their tablet, okay? Their iPhone or Android or whatever. All right, so you got to look good on the, on the device, um, easy to read and all that. But most importantly, Google takes it super serious because that is the direction we are going in the future of marketing or for internet marketing is being mobile friendly. So you have to have to meet those requirements. And Google just updated their algorithm. So it's penalizing um, businesses even more that do not have a mobile friendly website. So for you, you act, your website is not mobile friendly. When someone goes to your website, if I was looking for a construction company to build my home or build my new business or add a room addition or something of that nature, um, I, I wouldn't be able to read anything from your website. It would be too small. I would have to zoom in. It would be very... Um, it wouldn't be great for a new person trying to spend money with you and they'll click off the website real quick and go to one of your competitors, okay? So that's the kind of approach that you need to take this. That's, that's where the internet's going. That's where future, the future of internet marketing is going. So it's important for you to take this serious. We definitely need to um, get you a mobile-friendly mobile friendly web design, okay? Um, the current site you do have, it's good. You know, it gets the, it gets the point across. You do construction, but it's not... Um, appealing to a new prospect and Google is definitely penalizing you and slapping your website down for it. Um, so definitely want to get you a new mobile friendly web design. Okay. All right. So that is pretty much the end of my analysis. Um, overall, yes, you know, your website's in obscurity. Um, definitely would love to help you um, increase your sales, get you at the front of these searches and increase your revenue. Definitely it's important to, to do this um, to earn more credibility and show that your current clients or future clients that you may have that you do have a very strong online representation um, you know and, and that you are moving in the right direction okay because that's what your competitors are doing so if you're gonna um, compete and be a, um, a construction company providing the best quality honest professional uh, construction and engineering service in San Francisco this is definitely something you want to consider investing in so um, again, Clifton, thank you for your time. I hope this made sense for you and your business. I would love to talk with it uh, or more on it about you. Um, so please uh, get back to me. You can contact me. Uh, you have my email address, um, my phone number at the bottom of this email. Um, if you want more information, please visit my website, amplocal.com. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you for your time. You have a good day.